with this programming example, I'm going to initialize an one dimensional array with n randomly generated integers. Then we will be finding the sum of these elements and the average as well. So first of all, we need to take the value for n from the keyboard. For that, I have already written the code the printf to prompt and scanf to take the value into n. Now we need to declare the array of size n. So declare the array. Now that's the comment. Okay. So we have declared the array with n elements. Now next we need to generate n random numbers and assign them to the corresponding elements of the array. That means the first random number is to be assigned to the first element, second to the second element and so on. You know that for using rand function in order to get the random numbers we need to initialize the seed with the time value of the system so that on each execution the rand function is going to generate different set of random numbers so i am calling the srand function and passing the time in order to get in order to initialize the seed with the system time now in order to use srand and rand, we need to include the header stdlib.h and for time we need to include time.h. Now if you don't know about this random numbers, how the rand function generates random numbers, how to initialize the seed using srand and passing time, all these things, don't worry, just go through the tutorial that deals with all this thing named random number in the same course I have already given them in the course so you can just go through that tutorial and can get all these details okay so going ahead I'm just writing a for loop in order to generate the random number and assign them to the corresponding elements of the array so here the for loop goes it starts from i equals to 0 because the index of the first element is 0 so xi is the ith element that means for the first time x0 is the first element so I'm calling the rand function to get the random number let it be only two digit random number so I'm just applying the modulo operation with 100 that means the result is going to be from 0 to 99 okay so this is going to initialize the array with random numbers let me just print the content of the array which we have just initialized with randomly generated integers Again, in order to print the content of the array, what I need to do is to write a for loop that will iterate through the array elements and from i equals to 0 to i less than n. Each time i is going to be incremented by 1 and I am printing the content here. Okay. By mentioning 4 here with percent %d, we are actually mentioning the width of the number in which the number is going to be printed in the output console that means while printing the number it's going to reserve four character dedicated for this number and the number is going to be printed right aligned so each number is going to be printed on four character columns so the alignment is going to be perfect in that case so let me just execute and show you how it goes here i'm executing the program First of all, it is asking for the number number of elements. I'm giving five. So here you go. There are five numbers. Now if I execute once more, I'm giving 15. So these are the 15 numbers. You can see that I have mentioned percent %4d. So it's always four characters here. And the eight is printed right aligned amongst these four characters. Again, you can see that it's four characters again. So the gap between them is between the number is always perfect okay now we need to find out the sum of the elements in order to find out the average of the elements so i'm declaring a variable sum and i'm initializing this with zero in order to do away with the garbages because any variable declared within a function by default contains garbage so sum equals to sum plus xi so immediately after printing the ith element what we are doing, we are accumulating the ith element of the x array with the sum variable. So initially the sum was 0, then x0 will be added, then with that x1 will be added and so on. It will go up to n minus 1th element, that means the last element. Now when we come out of this for loop, the sum is going to contain the 
summation of all these elements in the array so sum is sum is percent d and we are printing sum so now if i go on executing this first of all n i mean 10 elements are going to be allocated you should have given a new line here you can see that okay, anyway the output is this these are the 10 random numbers generated into the array and then the sum of this number is 417 let me just give a new line here before printing sum it should be on the next line okay now i'm executing once more you can see that so i'm giving 15 so these are the 15 numbers that is generated by the brand function and assigned to the array elements and this is the sum of all those 15 numbers now I need to find out the average of these numbers so I'm declaring a double variable and the name for this is average so average is going to be sum divided by the number of elements that is n now this is not going to get us the accurate result because sum is integer n is integer so integer divided by integer is going to be integer so if the result is having a decimal precision then that's going to be truncated so what we need to do we need to cast it now again as a note i have already discussed why this type casting is required and how this can be done in an earlier tutorial you can just go through that if you don't understand anything about type casting basically it's simple it is before applying the content of sum in this division operation I am forcefully giving the instruction to the compiler to convert the content of sum to double. So now the operation is between a double value and integer value. So the result is going to be in double value because double is having higher precedence. So the result is going to be accurate in this case. So average of the numbers percent LF and percent %LF is the format specifier for double and I'm printing the average okay it's done so I'm executing the program here we go it's asking for the number of elements I'm giving 10 you can see that the sum is 600 0. these are the 10 random numbers generated into the array and this is the average I'm executing once more now I'm giving 25 these are the 25 random numbers it's 888 is the total of these numbers and this is the average you can see that here we have these decimal points had we not any had we not imposed this casting this decimal accuracy would have been truncated